Hello everybody, hopefully you're having a wonderful, fantabulous, and mystical day. My name's Emmanuel Aguilar, aka Mystic Fox 4, and if you are unfamiliar, on today's episode of All Art No Breaks, where I go on a deep dive on Art Station and find things, and I showcase them on a weekly basis, um, let's get started. So, if you guys don't know, All Art No Breaks, just described it, basically go on Art Station, find a couple things, show it to you guys at the end of the week, or at the beginning of the week, mostly on Mondays. I've missed a couple don't beat me up all right so this week we're gonna jump right into it i found a couple different artists actually that are i believe working on different projects some of them on hearthstone some of them on different things just artists that i haven't actually gotten too familiar with um the first one we're just gonna hop right into it because I, I don't want to waste too much of your guys time um so the first one is going to be ming cheng shen um he does these awesome illustrations but i want to just kind of showcase like some of it um, I really like the way that he focuses kind of on the center area and he kind of has everything kind of pushing you to want to look to that area. Um, it's just really, really nice in execution and you can really see the texture in the folds of this kinds of cloths and things like that. Then we go a little bit further down, you can see a little bit more like splash already type things, which is really cool. Um, you have that center focus where it's like pointing towards the middle, you got the center high, like light at the back. Is a little bit darker but he punches it out with that silhouette with the light coming from behind as well and these like cool creature looking things that are coming out of these shadows maybe she's summoning them maybe she's calling to them um and then you have these like little little indications of like an environment so there's like a door here and like she's in a hallway that's cool but what i really like are these sketches they're very clean very concise you know exactly what's going on in all of them um, and they're just good sketches like when you think of like sketches to make something like a project or you're just kind of concept concepting something out I think it's always a good idea to have very clean sketches that way you have a very clear idea and clear vision of what it is that you're trying to do and you can like execute and think on that and and build on that which makes it a lot easier to do later on um, but I thought this was really cool too he has this uh, gif little thing uh, kind of showcasing how he does the process of actual painting and you can see how he cuts it up into different steps he does the sketching then he does the flats then he does a little bit of rendering um and then it's just all pretty pretty set you know and he does spend a little bit of time doing just this in the um in the thing so it's like a little interesting and it keeps it it keeps it flowing all right and then he has another uh, one of this splash thing where he's kind of doing this environment. I really dig how he flip, like he moves around the hair a lot. Um, it's just really interesting to see how other people do the hair thing. Um, I sometimes struggle with doing the hair because sometimes, you know, the hair that I pick was probably not the ideal position for it. But it's really nice and refreshing to actually see how he does this. Um, now, we're going to be moving on to the next one. So that's Ming Chen. If you like his, or Ming, Ming Shen. If you like his stuff, you can go ahead and check um, the description down below and you can see more of the stuff. And um, let's move on to the next one. The next one is going to be Monica Palos. Uh, sorry if I'm butchering the name, but we're going to go through this pretty quickly. So it's an she's an illustrator slash concept artist um, and she is available for work. So anybody that watches my videos and is looking to hire somebody, I think this is a very valid target to, to targeted hiring. Um, um, I'm promoting, um, you know, any any sponsors come my way. Uh, I really do like the way that these are kind of made, where it's like a poster-esque kind of a thing, and they tell a story depending on, like, the characters involved in the actual piece. You can see in the first one, it's like more of a promotional poster where it shows, like, Olaf kind of going in on a bunch of little monsters here. And uh, you see Riven and uh, this other character that I believe is a new character, but I haven't actually seen a ton of. Might have to do a little bit of research afterwards. But I do like the way that it's actually made and the way it's positioned and all of that stuff. Um, I do like really like the silhouette of this one like the, the the use of the blank space like the white space on the outsides is just really nice and it's in good contrast to the center where it's all dark and then you have all of these other crazy things going on about it I think if this was the size of an actual poster and I had it laying on my wall I'd be gawing at it for hours and I think it was really cool really well executed um, I'm not gonna get too into like the details of like how they did everything and like zooming in and that kind of stuff in this episode just because I really want to focus on like just showing you guys what I found throughout the week. Um, I really do like this one a lot too, um, mainly because you a lot of people miss like uh, miss 
underestimate, I think that's how you say it, like how the use of blank space is important and how good it is to just have like white area, especially if you're making something that's poster-esque. Like you can, this is very doable. Like I can totally see this and then like a League of Legends po like a uh, logo like on the bottom right, bottom left, somewhere somewhere along those lines, you know, like this just right there, just right there. It's on the wall, you know, or nothing. It's just the artwork that it just looks sick. This one is just really, really nice. This is probably one of my favorites out of the, the three or four that are here. One, two, three, four. Um, I really just like, you know, seeing this character here and like the silhouette. And you can see like the whole story of how they're connected. And then you can see like, you know, this this uh, this new character in League of Legends kind of popping out on the side. And he's just like breaking that silhouette. So it's not just his silhouette. It's also his, he's, he's a character in it. But it also kind of shows like he's outside of this realm so he's he's intervening so it's just a really nice use of space here to kind of tell the story and dictate it um i don't quite know who this is um but i do think that if i knew a little bit of the lore it, it bring out more i mean i believe it's her maybe her soul maybe he has her soul but that's just viego things he just steals he'd be stealing people all right so next one Next one, uh, this is actually just a personal favorite. I like the really sketchy style, and I, I like just the use of black and white and just good good use of just values to tell a story or to show actual thing. I don't really – I think polished stuff is really nice, but I do think, you know, you get the main, the main idea in a sketch, so you don't really need to take it at that far. Um, I also like looking at the sketchy nature of stuff where it's like a little bit messy. Um, I, I think it helps me process things in my own artwork as well as just kind of process things in life. Uh, like like just just process how other people construct things and how they build things like that uh, I have uh, gained an appreciation uh, for draftsmanship when it comes to environments I loathe in make, making environments but I enjoy the finished product so it's things that I'm learning right now um, I do like like the setup for this where it's like this character is probably deceased and she's mourning it and she's also like a soldier so she's like you know, in her full getup, and she just laid him there. Maybe she, maybe she passed on her armor. Maybe she used to be a soldier or something. And then you can see like there's little bits of environment and just the lighting in general is just very, very uh, uh, strange lighting. Um, I don't quite know where this lighting is coming from. I believe it's probably from these panels, but there's nothing kind of indicating like it's coming from there. Maybe if there was like a sun thing and there was like little white spots on the back of her armor. And you can't really see a lot of this area, but I like the sketch. Sketch is great. Um, it's really enjoyable. You can see how they really had fun. They just kind of drew things in and uh, they were finding things out as they went along. I think that that's something that like I really like about another artist by the name of Vachman Arduri, where he just kind of he he does like these little blotches and then he starts drawing within the blotches and he figures out what he wants to put in them and what kind of shape basically kind of thinking about it kind of like clay where you're kind of sculpting it as you go along not that this person didn't know what they were making but it, it the the type of sketch um, pattern is is really nice and i really like how like you know from far away you're looking at this piece and are like this this gun i mean and you think these are like very chiseled out right but like if you zoom in or if you just look at them a little bit more closely you can actually see that these are just like little quick brush strokes they're not really sketched in and or like rendered or anything it's just quick like you know indication of what that is like a general indication i really like that all right guys so if you guys stayed long enough to watch this video, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been watching the series. The series has been always a joy. I literally just grab a couple of, of, of uh, artists that I find online just so I can show you guys real quick. It's not that big of a, of a thing, but uh, I do enjoy the time that you guys take to watch these videos. If you guys like the video, make sure you leave a like on the video. Comment down below, uh, you know, which artist you thought was really cool or something that you learned from the artist. You know, th this YouTube series is really not to trash on other artists. It's mainly just to showcase, like, what other people are doing. Maybe learn a couple things here or there. For this guy, you know, I can definitely learn a thing or two about sketching um, hard surfaces. But maybe you can take something else from it. So comment down below. What did you learn on today's episode? Did you find something new? And if you did, you know, make sure you leave a like. I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to stay mystical.